Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. Press the like button and subscribe. I started this video and it just blacked right out on me. And I was just about finished with it. So I've got to redo it all over again. Uh, Alright, welcome and subscribe and like. Uh, if you will, I guess it's alright now. Okay. <laughs> Oh my goodness, if anybody ever had any problems, it ain't me. No, I don't have any. Okay, uh, please, uh, tomorrow, uh, the real estate may crash on the stock market, I take it. And uh, for new home buyers, the interest is up 6%. And tomorrow, be sure to watch around 2 o'clock p.m. tomorrow, Eastern Time, uh, the internet or the TV, whatever's going to go on, I don't know. Uh, it's going to be interesting, I guess, and maybe very disappointing. Probably because of the high interest. So I didn't get too much of that. Uh, Biden says, yes, we will go to war if Russia goes after Taiwan. And Taiwan is thanking Biden for covering their backs. Okay. Uh, maybe I took too long on the other video, so I'm going to try to hurry through this before it goes out again. World Economic Forum. Okay, they want to microchip our kids. Uh, if I can read this right quick. It's, it's ran by the government. And uh, that create, oh yes, um, the animals. Yes. Now this is this is sick and sad, but uh, they want uh, no more farms. They don't want no more ranchers. No, and this uh, World Economic Forum, government, whatever it is, starting to be or probably was, because it's all it's going all over Europe right now. Yeah, what they want? They got you. Got to kill your animals. If they if. If animals produce gas, well, any animal, you got to kill them because they're going to grow our meat in a laboratory. They're going to take from a live animal their brain cells out. Yeah, what do they call them things? Um, stem cells. They're going to take them out of a live animal, put them in a dish, freeze them, and then create our meat in a lab. Like Frankenstein. Oh my God. God love the animals. Precious Jesus. But they say there's nowhere in the Bible that said we're supposed to have meat. Not supposed to have meat. Well, I know they sacrificed lambs. And I know Jesus had fish. He fed the fishermen a loaf of bread and fish. Oh my God. Terrible. Just terrible. Don't get caught being a rancher either or a farmer. Don't try to hide and do it. Because if they find you, you won't get no food. They're going to control the food. And they're going to control you by controlling the food. If you step out of line, no food. Nope. Terrible. I never heard of such a thing called world government mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. yeah control the people by controlling the food you step out of line if they tell you I'm gonna jump down here right quick because I'm trying to hurry um, if they tell you you have to have a booster shot for COVID whatever virus might come along whatever and you don't get that shot you don't get no food you go outside, you're told not to. No food. Whatever else. And they're going to tell you what car you can buy, what car you can buy, and how much you can pay for it. That's what they want. Now, here's Bill Gates. A little note from him comes that he owns millions of acres of farmland now that he has bought up here in the United States. Billions of it. What's he going to do with it? Yeah, 
What's he going to do with it? He, he has no intention of farming it. So what do you think? Is he going along with this new government environment order? Is he going along? Is he going to live by that? Like I said, I just don't, I don't know where this is headed. You know, and they will control our children. You won't have nothing to say over your children either. Yeah, they're going to control the children. And you. What you do, when you can do it, what you can't do. Oh my God. Well, this is kind of sad. But if you started your Christmas shopping, you might be lucky. But you better hurry. Armor and coals. We've got Walmart. And who was the other one? There's another store. Target. I think it's Target. And uh, they're, they don't want to risk the closing of their stores. So they're cutting down on millions of orders. So if you're going to order anything Christmas from these stores that I've read, Armor, Kohl's, Walmart, Target, you better do it quick because otherwise you're not going to have no Christmas. You're going to have to go to Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree, Dollar Store, get some arts and crafts lined up, teach your kids how to do some arts and crafts that they can give to their brothers, their sisters, their grandmas and their grandpas, and their mommies and daddies. Now, this sheriff from Texas, I couldn't catch his name. It, it's probably, um, you know, Spanish, which I have nothing against that. It, it's okay. But it's a Howard or, or something like that, sheriff. And that's not his whole name. Howard was maybe the first part of it. But uh, he's from Texas. But he's bringing uh, criminal charges against DeSantis now. Yeah. He, uh, for taking those uh, immigrants and putting them to uh, the vineyards, Martha's Vineyards. Yeah. What's the matter with Biden? Biden was fly, uh, flying them out at midnight in the dark. Planes and planes of them. Migrant. He's, yeah. So where's the criminal charges against Biden? You know? <laughs> oh, I try to smile. I try to be happy. I really do you just got to because I tell you we're going to hell in a handbasket that's just about the size of it too I don't know I'm 79 years old mm -mm. I don't know if I want to I want to live till I'm 250 years old but now I'm having my doubts this crap keeps up my goodness sakes I don't know. But anyway, they're, he's bringing charges, criminal charges. But he's in Texas. Now, the state that Martha's Vineyards are in, or wherever, what's he got his nose stuck in this for? Somebody from the other state got a hold of him and said, we want to get rid of DeSantis. We need your help. So bring criminal charges against him, would you? Rats under the table. Always. Always. Always and ever. Yep, he ain't got no business to putting his nose in this. None whatsoever. So, I hope DeSantis, he's kicking back. He's kicking back. I didn't get all of that. I ha I'll have more tomorrow. And I haven't forgot about our little makeup thing, but uh, I'm going on about uh, 9 minutes and 37 seconds here. I've been going pretty good, but I don't know why my camera just quit on that other uh, uh, thing that I was doing here, but that's okay. I'm so tired anyway. Um, I was in the yard, I, I mowed, and before I knew it, it was pitch black out. Here I am on the mower. 
going like crazy, and it's pitch black out. I'm going, I thought I had at least till 8, 830. And you know, here we have what we call Indian summer. Where'd our Indian summer go this year? And we had almost 90 degree weather today. Usually our Indian summer stays in the 60s and the 70s. I go out on the porch with my coffee. I sit out there with my babies. They run in the yard for a while in a fenced in yard. And uh, it's a little dog pen like, cause they're so tiny, you know, they don't need nothing big. But I sit out there and the breeze is beautiful. I have my coffee and I, I, I'm with my dogs, my babies and everything. The kitties don't go out. They do not get outside. Uh, Ringo used to sneak out, but when I got the new baby, he won't leave that new baby. No, he won't leave Boo Boo. No. But anyway, well, I guess that's all for tonight because I, I am tired. And um, I'm going to go play my games and I am going to hit the sack. And uh, I was going to take my shower tonight and I thought, no, because i got to do my hair tomorrow. Yes, I have to do it. I wash my hair about every three days. So I have to get that done tomorrow. So I'll wait till I get my shower tomorrow and, and do my hair. So uh, I guess I'll say good night. Look up some of these articles, people. Look them up. Go to some YouTube channels. Listen to what they've got to say. And it's going to make you just scringe. It's, it's just sickening. I just can't believe that's where we're headed. But God love you. Stay safe. And like I said, if you're going to start Christmas shopping, you better do it quick. Because they're pulling back. They're cutting out all orders, most of the orders. FedEx is cutting down on deliveries, and I suppose uh, UPS will probably do the same. There'll be no shipping hardly at all. And I don't know about the railroad thing. Like I said in the other one, I thought that that railroad thing had been settled. But I heard again today <clears throat> that uh, maybe not. So if the railroad thing isn't settled yet, and they haven't agreed on nothing, where does that leave us for our deliveries for food to the grocery stores? Lord God have mercy. I love you all. God bless you. Good night.